Hey, what is going on guys? It is the Vlog Golfer back with another video. Man, I'm excited. But before we get too far, you ain't subscribed, you might as well go hit that subscribe button. Over 60% of these viewers are not even subscribed yet. What do you mean? So yeah, go hit that subscribe button. Comment, like the video, show me some love. Let me know you're enjoying this content. But anyways, on to the video. Let's get it. All right, so guys, today we are going to Indian Valley Golf Course. Not made a video on this one yet because I didn't start recording until a couple weeks ago and I've not played there in a while. Last time I played there, last couple of times I played there, those greens have been horrendous. So with that being said, and my time away from the golf course, I'm hoping today it's gonna be a little bit better. Meeting our buddy Jared there from North Carolina, but you know what it is. As always, chipping, putting, hitting on the driving range. I'll see y'all there. Let's get it. Woo, we finally made it to the golf course and look who I found here. Hey, Jared. <laughs> All right, so we're about to go in here, pay for our tee time, get off the driving range, do a little chipping and putting. See you guys on hole number one, baby. We just finished up here at the driving range, about to hit on hole number one. Um, irons felt pretty good. Um, driver felt all right. Uh, hit a couple of good shots, a couple of bad shots. You know, it's one of those things, but I'm hoping uh, the irons are gonna keep me safe today and hopefully my putting game's on point. Jared, what you thinking? Well, I took a little break for a while and sometimes it helps out. Uh, my drives and my irons look pretty good, so hopefully it translates to the, the course. We'll see. We'll see. Let's get it. Oh, baby. That's a way to start off. Very nice. Oh, crushed. Nice. Three iron? Yep. Nice. Both had great shots off the tee box with irons. This is actually my first time hitting off hole number one without a driver, so it's gonna be a good day. Let's get it. So here we are, right out in the fairway. Pretty close together too. Yep. All right, there's the hole. They get it. Oh no. You're right. Dang. I got overconfident on that one. Man. Oh yeah. God, that's beautiful. Go, go. Dang it, what a great shot. I was that's what I was that's what I was hoping for, but you know, don't always work out that way. Oh no. Bank off. Bend it. Man. All right, so that was shot number three on a par four. Jared is on the green with a beautiful, beautiful birdie putt. Um, I thinned that last shot over the back of the green. I'm gonna try to get up there, maybe get a par, but I have a feeling it's probably gonna be a bogey with a double. You know, just being honest with myself. Try that parkour. That's perfect. Woo! Sit down, ball. Yeah, you couldn't have done much better than that. All right. Finally on the green. I was talking during here. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, on the green, we're putting for Bogue. Let's see if we can't get it in the hole or at least get it close for double. I mean, you know what it is. I get it. Just finished up hole number one. Uh, I got a triple. I don't know how that happened, but it happened. Uh, I think Jared got a bogey. A bogey. So uh, we're on to hole number two. Uh, this one, dog legs to the left. Uh, we'll see if we can't do better than a triple this time. Let's get it. 
Oh, piped it no. right down the middle. Yes. Oh, yes. Keep turning. Keep turning. Keep turning. That's what I asked. All right. Second shot was not a bad shot. Let's go get Jared's ball. All right. So Jared's got a, about a 145 shot between these trees. We'll see if he can uh, make it through those trees. And those people right there are in a bad place. Wind caught that one. Oh, get up there. Nice. Oh, get in the hole. Get in the hole. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was a great shot right there. Thank you. Wonderful oh. shot. Golly. All right. I'm in the middle of the fairway with my second shot hitting three on a par four. So let's see if we can't make it happen. All right, so I am hitting four on a par four. Um, my first shot off the tee box went right to the woods, hit a tree, bounced back. Uh, crushed a five iron onto the fairway. I tried to hit a 60 onto the green. Just didn't put enough power behind it. Just a little bit of short of the green. So I'm just gonna try to chip her up on the, to the green and see what happens. Yeah. All right, just finished up hole number two. I got another triple. I, I I didn't get a chance to to tap on these greens a little bit, but uh, man, it's these greens are tough. Uh, I'm used to playing medium fast greens. These are just slow. I mean, a turtle could walk qu quicker than a ball will roll. So, uh, all right, we're on hole number three. Let's see if we can't do better. Oh. I didn't even look at that. Mm. All right. Finally made it to the green. I am putting for par. Jerry, what are you putting for? Uh, this shot's for birdie. Birdie? Oh, he's not putting. He's chipping. But he is chipping for bird dog city up in here. So we'll see if we can uh, get up and in, in the hole. Hopefully I can uh, make this par putt. I'd love nothing more than a par. I'm sick and tired of getting triples. So man today is a beautiful day and i'm feeling good it's just uh, you know those first two holes are pretty bad but it's all right let's get it God, dang, that's it. gotta hit it man gum it Man, it is one of those days, man. I don't know what is going on. Felt great at the driving range. Felt great off the hole one. Um, double bogey. I'm gonna... I, was, I was hitting bombs on the driving range. Yeah, we were both hitting bombs on the driving range. Um, I mean, really good shots. I mean, actually, like, trying to practice. Um, but I got a, a double bogey on this one. I think Jared got a bogue. Um, but we're on to, uh, to hole number four. And, uh, you know, as always, trying to stay away from those bogues, but, uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, you hit that too good. Get lucky. Come on. All right. Two off the tee box for me. Hitting three off the tee box. Um, maybe I'll get lucky and uh find my ball but i doubt it man same, same spot all right guys so it is man it's a little bit rough for both of us today so far um 
I just got a, a triple on that hole. I hit my first tee shot off into the woods, hit a second shot off into the woods, managed to find my first one. Uh, missed an easy straightforward putt uh, twice, so ended up getting a triple. Uh, Jared said he got a double, so uh, we're on to hole number five. We're gonna see if we can't still hit that 100 mark today, but man, it's gonna be a challenge. All right, we will uh, catch you at the end of hole five. All right, we just finished up hole number five, and uh, man, it was a rough one at the start. Um, I went into the sand off to the right and Jared just lipped out of the sand um, Hit a second shot uh, off to the left right behind the bunker. He had to uh, Go over a top of a bunker and onto the green. Um, I hit a great sand shot out of my second one uh, Maybe I don't know a foot off the green uh, And uh, put it up there and uh, ended up two putt well technically one putting but uh Getting a bogey on that. I mean, these greens are just absolutely horrendous today. They're slow. They're really slow. And uh, believe it or not, like I have a huge problem with slow greens. Fast. I mean, some people are different. I mean, some people hate hate fast greens. I um, usually like slow greens. Yeah, but I mean, like I I love fast greens personally, like medium to fast, and even fast like the challenge. Um, those greens are phenomenal. Um, but all right, we're off on hole number six, the par four, 311 yards. Let's get it. Oh. Uh. Golly, dude, that had to hit every, oh, 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 wow. That had to hit every tree known to man, dude. It sounded like a, like music going through those. Yeah. Oh, no. All right, so uh, I lost my first ball off to the left in the woods. Um, so I hit a provisional shot right in the middle of the fairway, just what I was trying to do the first time. So I'm going to be hitting three from the fairway. Uh, Jared's off to the right back here, just behind me, um, after playing uh, the Triano. Triano. If you don't know what a Triano is, it's a bunch of trees where, where, where the ball hits it and makes beautiful music when it comes back out in the fairway. So, all right, here we go. Jared's shot number two. Oh no. God. Oh, shit up. Just an example of these greens. Look at this. Things are horrible. Come on now. Mm. Wow, good putt. Thank you. The speed. Yeah, good putt though. All right, just finished up hole number five, I think. Uh, six. six, hole six. Just finished up hole number six. Uh, that was a rough hole. Um, he ended up getting another triple, but uh, I think Jared got a double. Yeah. Um, we're finally starting to get the green speeds down. If I can just get off the tee box, that's you know a normal problem for me. But hey, we're on to hole number seven. And let's see if we can't get up there and in. Oh, absolutely smashed. All right, guys, we just finished up hole number seven. We both ended up with bogeys. Uh, terrible shot off the, off the tee for me. Um, all my irons are going left today, uh, which is really strange. Um, but we're about to start on the infamous hole number eight, as Jared said. Yeah, uh, infamous eight. This uh, this hole is a, a par three, big pond to the left. So basically, you either got to go right into the trees or straight up middle. So uh, we'll see if we can't get up there uh, and finish out this back nine. We'll see at the end of this hole. Oh, that's beautiful. Go ball. Get up there. Go ball. All right, we just finished up hole number eight, and Jared, go ahead and give him a round of applause. Oh. Got that par, got that par. He almost got a birdie though. He had a great chip. He like tapped the hole and, and fell out, but uh, he uh, he ended up, yeah, he ended up getting a par though. So good for Jared. I got a double bogey. Uh, man, I had a terrible shot off the tee box. Um, and the second shot actually rolled up close to the green. Uh, just couldn't make it happen. So. Uh, Double bogey on the scorecard, and we're going to start on number nine. And I have a surprise for y'all on the back nine. So, uh, well, some of y'all might enjoy it, but, uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right, well, uh, let's get it. All right, 
right, we just finished up hole number nine, about to start on hole number 10. Um, I got a double bogey on that. You know how it is. But hey, Jared, Jared almost got him a bird. Uh, yeah. I mean, it was so close. Uh, a little bit more juice behind it, he would've got in there. He ended up getting a par, so uh, kudos to Jared, the second one today. I believe he shot a 43 on the, the front. Shot a 55, usually I shoot around a 57, so I'm still a little bit lower than what I usually shoot. I shot a 51 at Rockwood when I played the other day. So um, I think it's time to start this back nine and spank it good, leggy. All right guys, we're about to start up on hole number 10. Um, it's part four. There's uh, two guys in front of us walking, uh, but uh, we're not in any kind of rush right now. So um, we're just gonna hang out here for a little bit and then we're gonna tee off. Um, but it's a new nine, new set of holes. And yep. we're gonna try to fire it up on his back. Um, I think if I shoot like 40, I'll be all right, but it's a long stretch, but we'll see. I mean, that's, you it's know, doable. it's doable. So uh, I just got to come out here and make it happen. So we'll see y'all at the end of this hole. All right, guys, we are starting on hole number 11. We just finished up hole number 10. I got a bogey on that hole. Jerry got a par, fantastic par. Um, Good start. Good yeah. Um, I, uh, I missed a, a par putt by about a foot, but, uh, <laughs> ended up getting in on the next one so I'm, I'm okay with that i started struggling with my irons midway through the the front nine and i've kind of been struggling with them since so um i'm gonna see if i can uh get that together and uh hit this 100 mark baby let's get it oh by the way if you ain't subscribed yet go hit that subscribe button uh we've got content coming out weekly uh and uh make sure you comment and like let me know you're liking this content so i can keep this stuff coming along i hope you enjoy the content just as much as i enjoy making this content so make sure you hit that subscribe button let's get it Ooh. oh that's good you're good great shot man right over those trees whoa All right, so I just hit uh, three off the tee box. The craziest thing just happened. I literally hit the hardest hook I have ever hit in my life. I don't even know what that hit. It sounded like a house. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. But I mean, that bad boy went straight left off of the tee box. And uh, even when I was just starting to play, I have never hit anything like that. Um, so, we're gonna see if we can find my second ball. I think it might have got over or just outside the wood line. I'm hoping, um, but I'll uh, I'll keep you updated. So we just finished up hole number eleven. Once again, Jared, tell me what you got. Par. Man, got a par. Ended up with a double. Um, you know. <sighs> you know. You I was hitting three off the tee box. And my second shot actually went into the woods, like right on the edges. So I was hitting four, um, got up there, ended up two putting, hit that double. But hey, hole number 12. By the way, Emily, when you watch this video, this is the infamous hole that Emily flipped the golf cart on. And uh, shout out to Jeff, by the way, uh, for come saving our lives. We really appreciate that day that you just dedicated yourself to helping us with the golf cart. So let's get it, hole number 12, let's go. Oh. Oh! In the fairway, baby! Wow! You hit that crisp, too, because I didn't hit much further than you did. Wow! Okay. Lucky me. Now, the question is, can I get up that way? That way. That way. Let's get it. All right, so uh, my uh, second shot off the fairway uh, ended up going right just a little bit into a creek. Uh, but I had this like really long ball grabber thing. I go ahead and laugh. I know a ball grabber. Haha. -ha. Um, I found my ball and I dropped it, hitting four. I got up pretty close to the green. So we're going to try to get up and in real quick. Let's see what happens. Let's get it. 
all right so we just finished up hole number 12. um i got a double bogey which is not bad seeing the fact that i went into the water had to drop a ball um but uh jared got a par again man this guy is wearing this back nine out it's looking um, good yeah so uh so we got a we got us a par three over some water i don't like this hole at all but who likes par threes over water anyways so um we'll see if we can't get up there and in let's get it so we just finished up hole number 13 right man these greens are terrible if anybody from indian valley is watching this video please fix your greens i mean i barely touched the ball because you know we got a downhill putt you would expect it to roll a little bit all right tap the ball I mean, it barely rolled. And I mean, I just, it blows my mind. There's holes all over the green. I, there's divots everywhere. Half the greens are missing. I mean, fix your greens, man. God. All right, guys, so the surprise for the back nine. If anybody, go ahead and laugh at me, Emily, watches wrestling, um, you know the Sarge, right? So the Sarge lives right on Indian Valley where we're playing. Isn't this cool? Isn't that yeah, cool? That's a nice backyard. That yeah. Patio. So the Sarge is a super cool guy. He's super chill. Um, I was kind of hoping he'd be outside, but he lives right on Indian Valley. So that is super cool. All right. So we just finished up hole number 14. Both ended up with some bogeys. Um, I had a pretty long par putt. Uh, got it kind of close, but uh, just couldn't, uh, couldn't make it happen. So um, Jared had a, a gimme putt and he uh he missed it but that's all right um he's had plenty of pars today i think it's about time he gets a bogey so uh <laughs> what do you think about that <laughs> so uh we're just gonna be starting hole 15 it's par four uh as always let's see if we can't get up and in i'll see y'all at the end of this hole all right ladies and gentlemen just finished up hole number 15 i got a quad man got a quad what is going on today what'd you get jared bogey. a bogey doggy like man this has been a rough day for me um if i didn't have to work tomorrow you already know there'd be another 18. <laughs> um but there's a day for that coming don't you worry we're actually going to do a special 36 hole special so make sure you tune in for that one um sand shots i ain't even figuring them out yet so as soon as i get into sand it's game it's over better. So, yeah, I've gotten a little bit better, but most of the time it's game over. All right, so we're on hole number 16. God, we'll see y'all at the end of 18. Let's get it. Hey, what's up, guys? We just finished up hole number 18, about to go get some food. I shot a 105, Jared shot an 81. On hole 18, I was at the 100 mark. Ah, man, it sucks. Getting so close, but we're getting better, and that is the key. Still haven't had another lesson yet. Probably gonna get one here pretty soon. I'm also gonna get fitted for clubs here pretty soon, so make sure you tune in for that one. And we've also got a couple other special videos coming up, and I really hope you guys are enjoying this content. Um, so make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you know the next time I post. That's the important thing, right? Get the videos up, you gotta go watch them. Put in the comment section if you're enjoying this content, what I could do better, and drop me some tips. I mean, video suggestions, anything, put it in the comments. You know, 60% of the people watching this video are not subscribed, 60. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, all right? So with that being said, expect another video here pretty soon, all right? Let's get it. See you on the next one.